Hello, my friends. It's me, Fiddlewin, and welcome back to Banish, where we're having some issues. I'm having some uh, some people problems. <laughs> I've got no workers, no laborers, no builders, just a bunch of turned-off buildings because I don't have... I have too much stuff and not enough people. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. So we've got... I thought I had another clothesline here. Did I run out of rope again? I did tear down my building making the rope. Nope, I got four ropes. So I guess I, they did build all my clotheslines. Okay, I've got to keep an eye out on who dies so that I can replace them. Because right now I've got nobody to replace them. Let's go ahead and take our stone cutters down. Because we are doing fine on stone. Now, nomads, now would be a great time to show up. We'll see what happens. All right, so I've got, I'm gonna throw one of those two guys on building this house. Though it might be a waste of resources right now. Our health is fluctuating between one and two because I only have one herbalist on this whole area. That's not good. I need another one. So I'm thinking to put one down by the graveyard. I definitely wanna put one down here. I don't have one down here yet. Over here is our only herbalist. Where'd she go? There she is. Are we maxed out on herbs? How are we doing on herbs? I don't know. I'm looking in the wrong place, I think. Oh, is that it? That's medicine. Yeah, we're out of herbs. Oh, man. We're just out of everything. We're in trouble. I don't want any of that. Oh, that's my stuff. Ha! I don't want any of that. Why are you not building? Where are you at? Okay, going to work. Let's follow our worker here. Oh! This house isn't done either. I thought it was. Oh, me damn. Oops. Let's um put this one on pause. <laughs> that explains so much. I was wondering why I needed so many people. So that one's almost done. I need to pause this one for sure. I made a mistake in the last episode. I added a city hospital to address the health. That's not how this works. <laughs> I need more herbalists, so I'm going to pause that building as well. So now they can focus on the houses, and I can get some momentum. Really, really hoping that we get some nomads soon, because we're not doing so great. So this is our population. So we got green, our adults. It's gone down very steadily. Seems like it's going up there just a little bit. So we got one year. Oh, I can't look at less time. I was hoping maybe I could look at it like last few months or something. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Hurry up, finish that house. Oh, we're down to two. We're going to get more elderly dying, unfortunately. And our store, our stock rooms, or our, uh, our supplies are pretty full. That one's full. Yeah, our storage is getting full. Killed by a cave-in. Well, that's helpful right now, huh? Do I have any that are not? This is the only one that's not full, which means these guys over here have to walk all the way to the other side of the map, which they're doing, unfortunately. Oh, hurry up and finish this house. Is it done? It's done. Okay, let's get another uh, storage barn going here. I'm going to put it right... Yeah, it won't fit. Let's put it right there. That gives some uh, storage for these guys over here closer. We're gonna need more storage in town as well. That barn's full. So what I might do is put another one. I could put one right here. So I went ahead and paused it for a second to let them finish that barn and that barn is done. So at this point what I'm thinking is to just build stuff that I need that I'm short on that doesn't require laborers. Cause as soon as I start adding laborers in, I'm put myself back in a world of hurt. I think I just added too many professions too quickly and not enough houses. So I've paused the home over there. Somebody finally moved into this one and it, they're by themselves. So let's throw down another barn because I've got this one here is full. I'm going to put it right there. And we got another laborer. That's good. I did turn off my furnace fuel again. I have 200 and something. 270, but I was getting low on wood. They're still down here tearing down this forest, I think. Yep. Still tearing it down. So let's get that barn built. And I'm just going to place some random barns through here. 
I still, I'm thinking about what I want to do with this and what I'm starting to lean towards is decorating this with shops. So this would be like a little city center in front of the town hall, big shopping area around our houses, and then we'll just cluster a bunch of houses around here to get, um, to shop that area. 40%. Do we got a lever there yet? No, just a lonely little labor. We got trading post. Seeds. Okay. Cucumber seeds, spinach seeds. Oh, they're so expensive. How am I doing on homewares? I've still got 50 in there. And I got 47 there. If I spend any of this, it's going to go... Ugh. So let's spend 10. No, I can't buy any of these. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of these seeds, which makes me kind of sad. But I've got this guy bringing me seed every time, so I'm going to tell him to bring everything every time. Why not? And I wonder if he'll just cycle through them. Um, I know, let me actually check what seeds I have first. So I have corn, or I have broccoli, beans, I have chestnuts, and cherries. So I don't need any of those. So no broccoli, no beans, no chestnut, no cherry. So chestnut and cherry, so these guys. Just gonna bring me everything. I don't know how it works if you select everything. I definitely mulberry seeds. Can I order mulberry seeds from them? Yes, white mulberry seeds and red mulberry seeds. Almost tempted to have them only bring mulberry seeds. Let's see what happens next time he comes through. And if he only brings a certain number of things, then I'll switch it to just mulberry seeds. I don't need tobacco yet. But I want to start collecting some of these others. So for now, I'm just going to ask him to do that and come back later. We'll see what he does. I don't know how it works. I'm not a pro at this game. I don't know how it works whenever you ask for everything, how they handle that. Almost there, 69%. So that'll get another barn there. And then I think adding one more wouldn't hurt. Blag. There we go. Adding one more won't hurt. Oh my gosh, I really need to get more herbalist going, but I just don't have any. And that herbalist is so far away. I could put one up here and have an herbalist in a forest right behind the town hall. It'd be a closer location. I can put one down here by the graveyard, and then I can put one down here in this forest, and then I can put one over here. So I was planning to put a forest area over here as well. Come on, finish it. Almost there. Uh-oh, somebody died again. So we replaced a hunter, and now we have no... Ah, why did I close that? I hate when I do that. Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. I know what I'm doing, really. <laughs> I'm just going to keep cycling through those until I get the right one. There we go. Okay, so another barn is done so that these guys, are, guys aren't walking so far. Um, let's see how this guy's doing. Does he have some... What? I'm not even going to comment on that. <gasps> no mats! Oh, I'm so happy. I never thought I'd do this, but come on in. Now that means I've got to get herbalists coming in quick because those guys will bring disease with them. So let's get an herbalist started. I'm gonna throw my herbalist down here by the church. And I'll put it right with its back to that graveyard, which is filling up quick. Eh, we're okay, we're about halfway through it. Yay, I'm so excited, yay. Okay, so that'll get us another herbalist, which will get us someone to keep treating people. We might need one more. We've got a lot of workers now. Maybe we can get some of those logs coming through soon. Because I've told them to come down and clear this entire area. And they're doing it so slow because I had so few people that it had chance to grow behind it. Oh, yay. Herbalist, I'm so happy. Or uh, nomads, rather. Herbalist, too. All right, let's take a look. So we're still doing okay on building supplies. My homewares are at 47. Furnace fuel's starting to disappear again, but I really need that log supply to pick up before I start doing any more. Those nomads could not have been better timed. 
we need to start getting the health situation under control. I'm holding off on the hospital for that reason. We've got plenty of food because we lost so many citizens that now our production is way higher than our consumption. I should check some of my other stuff. So let's look at tools is equal. So I'm going to need to get tools going, more tools going real soon. We're using more fuel than we're producing. Yeah, our health is producing more than we're using. Probably because so many people have died. We're barely producing more food or uh, clothing than we're using. Yeah, so it's the, the big problem right now is that I'm on the edge with tools. So tools are going to start breaking. Crop developed and infestation. It's, you know, I'm not too upset considering. Turn it back up. Just hope it doesn't spread too bad. And it's probably not a bad idea to take advantage of having these builders. As soon as this is done, I might throw in some more wells. Because I still don't think I have quite enough wells to cover any emergency situations. There's a lot of upkeep I can be doing without adding more work. Like these guys have nothing over here. But they have water there. Here in the center, I've got a well over here somewhere. There's a well. And I thought I had another one down here somewhere. Am I wrong? Where's my well? I thought I had one down here. No, I guess not. I need to add one. I thought I had a well down here. Well, we're going to add one. Hmm. Shame on me. I'm usually better at than that. I usually do not forget the well. Yeah, as long as our herbalist doesn't start going, hey, these bodies here. We got another laborer. All right, let's take a look at our stone cutter situation because... We now have enough people that we can raise our limits up again. I'm going to raise this up. Did it slow me? Oh, it didn't turn it up all the way. There we go. I'm going to raise this back up. I hate to raise it to 10. Let's raise it to 10 for now. Or 9, because that's how many I have. That'll work. That leaves me three laborers and another crop infested. Yep, this guy's now infested. But thankfully, we've got so much excess food at this point, we're okay. I mean, we got 42,000 in extra food. And another laborer. Yay! Come on, build this. What's taking so long? We got wandering around somewhere. We need help. Come on. Build. Where are you at, slackers? He's heading there. We might be able to turn this around. If I can get their health back up and we can get more babies being born, we'll be able to turn this around. So I'm just waiting on... Did their wife die? Like they had a wife, wife had a kid, and then died in birth? Very likely. Very likely. There we go. All right, how many herbalists? I'm at five out of six blacksmiths. I'm already in trouble. Where are my herbalist? Uh, down here. And three out of four. There we go. And I'm down to one builder again. Oh, I might need to lower my work stone workers again. These guys keep maxing out the reeds. I'm going to disable them for right now. Because we just don't need that many reeds. And they're maxing out my raw materials limit. Because our reeds are at 1451 and our limit for raw materials is 1700 so yeah we need to stop them guys these guys are going to stop making bundles it's winter and they've already run out that's not a bad thing okay so we've got a second herbalist i think we could use a third one up here but for now what i think i'm going to do because i don't have enough people is call an episode here and man i may have to lower my stone people down again I have two out of one packers. Oh, right. It's because the one of the buildings is turned off. And somebody died. So now we got to go back to... Okay, so blacksmith died. So I need to lower these down. And then I need to add another blacksmith. Because when that happens... What happened? 
Shoreman died right as I changed. Oh. I'm trying to raise my blacksmith back up. There we go. Back down to five again. And somebody's sick. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. Well, let's see what happens. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Become a Finian today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.